climb up there, but I don't know how that would get us inside. We need to get in there somehow. Maybe there's another way in. That bell might be able to get the walkers' attention. They do like to follow sound. You look like you've got an idea. The noise from that bell could draw a lot of walkers. If one of us climbs up there and starts ringing it... Lewis, I vote Lewis. Uh, hold on. I'd like to make an alternate suggestion. Come on, Lou. You're loud, dramatic, a little annoying. You're basically a walking distraction. Just get up there. The quicker we get this over with, the better. Decisive. I like that in a woman. Just stop. Stop. I'll go with you. Give you some cover. Fine. I'll do it. But if I die, I'm making sure Walker Lewis eats both of you first. I'll distract him until I see you guys reach safe cover. Then, I'll try to redirect the smelly patrol to give you guys a chance to sprint inside the building. When we get into position, I'll signal you. Then you can do your thing. Good luck! See if it works. Gonna need your help on this one, kiddo. You still got your gun? Just in case. Just in case. Good job, AJ. Is there more? Keep it coming. It's 
understand. Slowly. Don't yell. Don't try anything. I won't hurt you. I don't have to. Do not fuck with me. I'm not here to fuck with you. I'm here to get some food. Same as you. You and your friends made a lot of noise out there. It wasn't hard to follow. You live close by? You knew about this place already, and organized some effort to get inside. You'll understand if I don't tell you anything. It wasn't really a question. More like confirmation. the two outside, I'm thinking, maybe more? You ask too many questions. I don't like it. Fine. We can play it like that. If you want. Now, I'm gonna fill this pack real slow. We worked hard to get this stuff. <clears throat> well, hey there, Squirt. Playing hide and seek, are we? Now that's impolite. Don't steal from us. I'm not stealing. This isn't yours. I can kill you, you know. Come on, kid. I'm faster than you. Listen up, Squirt. You're gonna quit pointing that gun at me and let me go my Mary. You understand? Agent, get down! <laughs> What the fuck? Just take a bag and fill it up. Listening to me, Marlon. Listen to me. I am telling you, the place was ransacked. It's fine. We'll deal with it. Took y'all a while. How poor are they that have not patience? A sim, Mitch. Check it out. Food. That's like a lot of food. Observant as ever, Mitch. I can't believe this. Look at it. You're our savior, Clem. Like, seriously, it's a lot. I owed you. You all saved me first. <laughs> Call us even, then. Where did you find all this? The old train station. Clem knew where it was. Train station, that's outside the safe zone. We'd have even more, but we ran into the creep that fucked up our rabbit traps. Creep? What creep? Clem saw him smoking those nasty-ass Bible cigarettes. He had weird, different colored eyes. Did he follow you? Nope. I shoved him into a pack of walkers. They took a chunk out of him. It was awesome. 
Look, I don't know if he got out of there, but if he did, he won't make it for long. You attacked him? What the fuck? If he survived, you know he's coming back for revenge. What the hell were you thinking? This is fucked. How could you be so stupid? If I hadn't done what I did, he would have shot us. I made the right call. Bullshit! What if there are others? You don't know what people are capable of out there. Think again. I, I just can't. I won't. Just not again. Fuck! What the hell's going on here? She took them outside the safe zone. They saw someone. You know what that means! Enough! It just means there's a hungry guy out there looking for food. It's happened before. You are overreacting. You can't be serious! Come on, let's go somewhere and talk about this. If anything happens, I'm holding you responsible! Clem, I know I asked you for help. You did, you did, but... Shit. God, nothing's easy. No one died. You don't have to worry. I always do, though. Can't help it. <laughs> well, at least we're eating tonight. For the next few, I'd wager. Um, I'll go talk to Brody. Thanks for the haul, Clem. You guys should go enjoy it. You've earned it. Don't sweat it, Clem. Ever since we lost Sophie and Minnie, Brody's been freaked out by anything that happens past the safe zone. She'll be alright eventually. Still, we should make sure this is a one-time thing. We can take Rosie out in the morning, see if she catches a scent. You know, just in case. I'm gonna go clean up. I think I'll go too. See you later. Don't worry about them. They're just sad. Sad? Why? My sisters died around this time last year. I think it's starting to get to people. Doesn't it get to you? Not really. Dying's not scary. I mean, it's sad, but not scary. Being a walker is a lot worse than being dead. How do you know? Maybe being a walker is really nice. I doubt it. Me too. But it's not like you can go ask one. I try not to focus on them being gone. I like picturing where they'd be now, instead. Sophie was awesome at making stuff. She'd build a place big enough for all of us to live. And paint it too. And Minnie'd be playing whatever new song she wrote. I guess death doesn't scare me because I know I have something waiting on the other side. Someplace safe and happy. Looks like a nice place to wind up. Yeah. I think so, too. A lot better than some smelly old school. Who are those guys? The walkers who killed them. You want them there, too? They weren't always walkers. Wherever this place is, everyone gets to be a person again. Sometimes I draw the walkers the way they probably looked. Sometimes I draw Minnie and Sophie the way they probably left them. But sometimes, I draw this too. Can... can I be there? Sure. You want to be there too? I promise I'll draw you well. Sure, why not? Oh, I almost forgot. Here you go. 
It's yours. It's ours. It's getting late. Yeah, you guys should get some sleep. Aren't you coming? Not yet. I want to finish this first. Good night. See you tomorrow. Time for bed, little guy. Can I stay up? Nope. Two more minutes. Tell you what, you lay down, and then we'll see. You full from dinner? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was. I like it here. I got to kill fish. Violet looked like she was having a good time. It's nice, not driving everywhere or running away. But the ranch was nice, too, before the blood. This isn't the ranch. Do you like it? I like it, now that I'm used to it. It's good, for now, but places change, and so do people. It might not stay good. Don't worry, we're not leaving. There, you gotta stay up two minutes more. Time for sleep. I'll lay down when you blow out the light. All right, give me a minute. I'm so used to lugging this everywhere. Never knowing when we'd find any supplies. I feel a lot lighter. There. That's a good drawing. He's a good artist. Your picture is good, too. Oh, I know. <sighs> so cute. I'm not sleepy. <laughs> Liar. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let a walker bite. And if they try, I never let them bite. Come on, play it right. One time, bang. <laughs> Good work, and thanks. There's voices in the pipes. I think someone's in trouble. Is it us? No, 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 not right now. But we should help them. If it's a monster, we should kill it. I don't think it is. You got your gun. Uh-huh. 
be right back. Stay safe. another entrance to the basement around here. way.
talking. Go get some sleep. You deserve some shut-eye. You had a busy day. I was asleep. You guys woke me up. So Sorry about that. I, I didn't think anyone would hear us. You want to tell me what's going on? It's really none of your business. Go back to the dorm. Uh... The man you met at the station! We got history. Brody! Don't listen to her, Clem. She's acting crazy. She gets this way sometimes. She's just got to tune it out. Let her speak, asshole. <laughs> Excuse me? I want to hear what she has to say. How do you know that guy? Marlon let him take the twins. Him and his people. Brody! Ten sisters. I thought they were killed by walkers. That's the story we told everyone. Shut up! Because Marlon was so ashamed Say, of what- Shut up! Ah! What'd you say? Shit, I'm sorry. Shit, what have you done? I'm so sorry. So, so, so. You're gonna be okay. I, I promise. God damn it! Help! What did you say? I told you not to say it! Get away from her. Come on, Brody, come on. I mean it, Marlin. Step back! <sighs> okay. Okay. Just, just stay with her. There's a first aid kit down here somewhere, right? First aid kit? Brody, it's me, Clem. Just, just stay still. Uh, who? Uh, I, I, I can't see. Clementine, remember? We talked about driving up into the mountains, where you could see everything. You and AJ both. What danger? Marlon will kill me if I tell. He's scared. And when he's scared, he gets angry. I'll deal with Marlon. I promise you that. Yeah. Yeah, you will. You're strong. And he's not. If those raiders come back, Marlon said he'd let him take you. Take us? To make him go away. Like he did. Like he did with ten sisters. Brody. Oh, fuck. No. No. Oh, no. What the hell am I gonna do? Gap. 
something really thin. I could force it in there and lift up the latch. I can't find anything in this dark. Yes, flashlight. That'll help. Look at her hands! 
She's covered in Brody's blood! Jesus Christ, Clem. What did you do? talking about? He won't do it, because he needs us alive. Shut up! Brody told me Marlin was gonna give me and AJ up to Raiders in exchange for safety. The same way he gave up Sophie and Minnie. Wait. Oh my god. Shut the fuck up, Clementine! Let her talk! Brody told me the truth, and that's when Marlin killed her! Oh, come the fuck on! They only met up with these Raiders because Clem insisted they go out there! Quite the coincidence, isn't it? Shame, I don't believe in those. First thing she did was attack you, Ten. Think about how scared we all were when the adults left. I pulled us out of that fear. I gave us all courage again. Who are you all gonna believe, huh? Johnny come lately and her little fucking lunatic? Or me, your friend? did help us get food. What good is food if a group of outsiders is just gonna come along and take it? But you have to believe me. You don't! You met her like two days ago! I don't know you, Clem. Not really. I'm sorry. This isn't like you. I know you're not weak! Don't let her get in your head. Hey, what would Minnie want you to do? She was my friend too. And so was Brody. Clem, I... <sighs> Shit. It will all feel safer once I pull this trigger. If you were there that day those raiders came? They would have abandoned you too. Violet being difficult. Why am I not surprised? Put down the gun, now. We're gonna do this the right way. Stand down, Marlon. Be reasonable. You don't get it. You, you don't understand at all, do you? I'm trying to protect you! <laughs> You! How does pointing a loaded gun around protect anyone? Brody's dead. Sophie and Minerva are gone. You suck at protection. Shut your fucking mouth! I made the right call. I saved the lives of everyone in this fucking school. They came back. I do it again. Excuse me? I didn't realize we were so fucking expensive. Your dick they told me they died. I had to save the rest of you, okay? You gave my sisters away. Why would you do something like that? I trusted you, Marlin. They trusted you. Easy, because he's a coward. I wanted to get them stakes, some kind of rescue. Honest, Ted, I just couldn't. I was, I was too afraid. You killed Brody because she knew. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I didn't want this. I wanted to save all of you. Sophie. Minerva. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
done. I'm done now. Oh, she kicked his ass. You're getting thrown into the basement until we can figure out what to do with you. Fine. Fine. You win. I can't. Take care of me, she headed down to town. 